perfect. Um, Wayne, you ready? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. We got a very special announcement here. And let me, I've got to set, set the screen up here for us. Okay. Guys, welcome to the call. Uh, we have a very special announcement. Now, last Friday on Geek Out Fridays, we showed you four new features. And the fourth feature was something that we kind of, it's a big feature add to uh, RSS Master. And I say that because we actually have a tab for it, just like we just added a tab for Article Forge a few months ago. So um, it is YouTube trending search. And before we get started on this, I, I really want to kind of show you a little bit about it uh, before Wayne does a demo. And we have a special way that you can get this added to your account today. So let's get started here. So it's very easy. You just add a mash, select the YouTube search, which will be a new tab, and it's only av available if you take special action. Um, you add your keywords, then you build, preview, finish, and activate. Very, very simple. And then you schedule the mash to any of your sites or even put it in social networks if you want to do that. The reason this is different than selecting the YouTube is the YouTube channels or playlists are based on people putting in stuff in their own channel. A YouTube search searches for all the top videos related to that particular keyword that you put in, which gives you really fresh, relevant content more than any other tab that we use. This is the freshest way to get content into your your autoblog site or into your social networks. Uh, so that's the three steps, very easy to use. And like I said, it is the freshest, most relevant videos on any topic that you want automatically pulled in and you can add it to any of your sites. So Wayne, you ready to demo? Yep, uh, absolutely. Let's stop sharing. <clears throat> Okay, there we go. You should see my RSS mash dash dashboard. Yep. Totally good. <clears throat> right, for those of you that saw last week, uh, I've got a site called Apple Videos. It's a video view site, mash site. And previously I was populating it with um, channels using the traditional RSS feed from the YouTube channels. And of course, it, that works, works well, but it, it's consistently bringing in the same people when they make a new video. And you spread it about, you put four or five different channels in or a playlist, and you can build a nice site up. But obviously, you've got, it's dependent on whether they update frequently, uh, and they're not the things that are constantly trending or being put in front of you when you do a keyword search. So obviously we went into our cave and we came back out with a new system that allows us to do exactly that, to get all the freshest content. And the first thing you need to do, if you, did, if you didn't see the video from last week, I urge you to, well, I want to ask you why not. Uh, you should be on Geek Out Fridays, very important. Um, but you need to uh, watch a little video, which is already live in the training and it shows you how to get an API key for YouTube. Now, we partly use the API key um, to get the, the information that we need about the video, but we don't use the API to get the video. That's the kicker. That's the clever bit that we've done. Uh, we actually go to YouTube itself and get the information that way. And we've invested in a massive amount of IPs so that we can hide um, any kind of footprint. So every time you press the button, it will use a different IP. We've got 200,000 plus of these, um, all US-based IPs. Um, 
so every time you do do the keyword search, it goes down and it gets the uh, relevant information that you would normally get if you'd have typed it into YouTube itself. So to use it, you need to create a mash. And once you've set up your API key, the tab will appear inside of the mash that you need to uh, use to be able to do the searches. So this, let me just show you my video view site. It's called Apple Videos. And if I scroll to the top, you can see I've got lots of categories about iPhone, I've got Macs, I've got iPad separate, just an iPad, which is a global iPad menu. And I've got things like uh, operating systems and other products and things like that. Um, probably a bit overkill, I might group some of these together, but I needed to separate these out because, you know, an iMac's an iMac, a Mac Pro is a Mac Pro and they're different uh, categories. But you can see the kind of videos now that have been put into place. I'll scroll down, you can see the videos that are coming in, iPhone 12, iMac, 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 Mac Studio. These are all um, trending, relevant, uh, new and different content creators, which is the kicker. So if we go over to um, RSS Masher, you can see I've got mashes for Mac Studio, Mac Mini, iPhone 11. So what I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna easily create one for, um, let's say Apple Arcade. Let's put one in there, because I haven't done that one yet. So I can select one that I've done before and click clone. And it will, are you sure? Yes. And it will clone that mash to a copy. And if I edit it, you'll see that it uh, brings up the information and all I need to change is the title there, Apple Mac Studio. So I'm gonna call it Apple Arcade Mash. Uh, the permalink you don't need to put in if you don't want, but I'm going to um, keep it nice and tidy. If ever you use the actual mash at the end of the RSS feed that we build you, and plug it into other things, you, you, you can use the permalink for that. Um, I'm going to call this Apple Arcade. Now, the important thing is um, you still need to switch on the YouTube content, just like as though you're using it the traditional way in, in the YouTube feed. Everything's the same, haven't changed any of that. So if you wanna strip out hyperlinks from their description, just tick that. And then you, you must tick the embed YouTube content or you won't get any of the content into the mash. So thumbnail image, yes, we want that. Now, if you want the description, you tick that box there and the description will come over with the uh, video and you'll be able to post that as content. Now for my site, I've decided because of the information is coming from multiple sources, and sometimes it can have bits in it that I like to try and use the advanced to get, to get rid of. Because there's no set format, because it's multiple different content creators, I've decided to just turn the description off altogether. So I just want the video, which is great. Um, so obviously we want the video, so we tick that. And then if, if you're going to post it into a Masher site, you don't need to do anything else. If you're gonna push it across to a WordPress, dependent on the theme, you can tick that box and it will have a, have a really good go at putting our special code around it so that it becomes responsive when people go on a phone or a desktop. Now, if you've got a latest theme on WordPress, you may not need that. Um, so you could obviously leave it off and if it doesn't work, come back and tick it on or just tick it on and if it works, great. But you might need to just try it once with, with or without, dependent on your theme. Um, and I've grouped it in Apple Videos and I just click update. So now we've got a YouTube search tab. So I'm gonna go straight to that. And you can see here, this is what I typed in before, Mac Studio, Apple Mac Studio. 
And the Google API keys that you set up, we, of which you can put multiples in if you want. I've got two in here. You just select which um, integration that you've added. Incidentally, it's down here. Google, YouTube search, and that you just drop the API key in and, and then save. And that's all you need to do. Um, but as I said, there's a video that walks you through that perfectly to be able to understand where to get that from. So in here, all I need to do is go Apple Arcade. And if I want multiple keywords, I can put a comma and I can put an Apple Arcade um, latest games, for example. But I'd probably be all right with just Apple Arcade in fairness. Um, but what we do there is we actually pass both keywords. So there's a special way to do that behind the scenes. You don't have to worry about it. We'll pass both and we'll get the results back for both keyword searches. And the maximum results is it's so a drop down that allows you to, every time we do a build in the background for you, once the mash is running, we can look for five top ones or 10 top ones. And, and this gets bigger dependent on the size of your mash subscription. Um, I'm going to leave it at 10. Um, but there's a little note here that just reminds you that while you're in the build and preview, we're not going to go and get 10. We're not going to go and get 20. We're just going to get five so that you can see it working and you're happy with it. And then when you activate it, the system will abide to whatever you've put in here. Uh, so you can see we've got, uh, when building your mash, the system will only get five videos from the YouTube search. So I'll click update. And that's saved. So now I can go straight over to the build and just click build. And what it will do is it, it's going to go down into uh, YouTube. It's going to go through all our clever systems and pass that search to it. Then we're going to see the results. We're going to get those videos. And then we're going to use the API that you've uh, passed through into the integrations to get things like the title, the thumbnail, the video, etc. But the clever bit. Well, it's all clever, but the most clever bit is that first bit <clears throat> that gets the videos that are actually ranking. Preview web. And as you can see, there's the title, there's a description, there's the um, thumbnail, and here's the video. So we've got one equal top 15 Apple arcade games. It's a 2021 update, but that is the video that YouTube recommended. So that's the one we'll take. Now, what I've got here is I want to show you something. I'll just show you the, the you know, multiples first and I'll come back. Top 10 Apple Arcade games with the best graphics, 4K video. There's another nice video. And then we've got, uh, you can see that it's working well. It's pick, and these are all from different content creators. You can see there, that one's from. Uh, Planet Techs. Uh, this one's from Deo uh, Awaroons. I hope I haven't butchered that surname. And there's one from Bub Visuals. <clears throat> okay, but you notice something here that I'm doing. Now, because I've removed the description, I'm using the money hooks to put relevant information about um, the Apple products. So if you've got a cat video, you'd put relevant cat adverts down here. If you've got drones, you'd have drones down here. So I've got uh, some tokens, um, which you, you can get to tokens up here, my tokens, and you can build, in fact, I'll show you, if I'll open it in a new tab, I've got multiple tokens and you can see the ones that I've added for Amazon, Amazon Mac OS, Amazon iOS, Amazon iPad. Now, obviously I've spent some time to get this right. So if I show you the Amazon MacBook Pro token, 
you'll see that I've generated, I've gone onto Amazon, I've looked for some relevant um, ads, and I've inserted them in as spin tags. So I've done open curly bracket. I've put the iframe in for the first one, which is there. I've then done a pipe. I've then put the second one in. I've then done a pipe and I've picked four products and spun them. So that, you know, when you click preview, it will search. Sometimes it squashes that text because this window isn't big enough, um, but it works when it goes into the actual. Uh, site. If I click preview, you'll get a different one. So if you build, um, I mean, you can just drop them into here, into the mash itself. But if you ever want to check, if you've, if you've put them in multiple places on multiple mashes and you need to change them, then you've got to edit every mash. Whereas if you've done it as a token, you can just edit the token and then any future videos and any future mashes it builds it puts the new code in for you automatically. So that's a good use for tokens. Um, <clears throat> so I haven't actually built an Amazon Apple Arcade uh, um, ad set. So I'll just stick with the Amazon Mac accessory for now. And you can see that that was punching out things like, you see how it like fits, there's no um, scribbly text. Um, and I've also put a great Apple accessory so you can see inside this Mac accessory, which I will show you. I just did a little bit of spin at the top, a fab great new Apple edition accessory. That's all it is. So sometimes it will be a fab Apple accessory, a great Apple accessory, just mixes it up a little bit. You can see that a great Apple accessory and it's put this ad for a cable. And then this one is, is the magic mouse, a great Apple edition. So you can see it randomizes. So every post gets a different one. So that's a nice tip for you all. Don't forget to put and use the money hook. Um, I always put a citation for YouTube videos because they, they do a lot of work and it's nice to you know promote whose content it was. Um, and that's it. We will, uh, we've done the build, we've shown that it works and I'll click finish and activate. And the system will take over. We've now got the Apple Arcade Mash and it will pick it up and it will start to build and add them into the content. So to get it to post, we just go into manage schedules. And I will clone this just for speed. I'll clone that one there. There it is, and I'll edit. And I will change that so that it's the Apple Arcade schedule. Pick the right mash, Apple Arcade mash. And you'll notice <clears throat> I'm quite religious about how I've named these. I suggest you, you know, don't name things like MASH1, MASH2, you know, be methodical about it because when you've got lots, you'll never find them. And, and doing it this way is so easy to, to know and, and to group them together as well, very important. So I'm quite happy with those posting schedules, four videos, uh, 60 minutes apart. Um, do not post if older than set that to zero because I want every video that comes across. So click update. And then down here, I'm just gonna post it to the correct category. So I'm going to edit and I'm going to go to um, Apple Arcade, which is there. And now it's important here that you use the first image as a featured image, yes. Upload all images, yes. And then, it's up to you whether you want to put the a thumbnail in the content, you can. But because the video is quite big and, and it's got a great image when you first hit that page, I tick it to say, exclude the first image from the post so it doesn't duplicate. And then 
So I'll have a category and I'm quite happy to just click update. And then of course, booster pages, very important. We've got a lovely post coming in. So I'm gonna send it to booster pages. And technology, computers, let's see if we've got, um, I think it, this one will be better if it was in gaming. And uh, let's think, we'll see what we've got. So online gaming, PC games, board games, puzzles, game streams, virtual reality. Um, news, I'll put it in there. And the, obviously it's a Masha site. So I'm gonna send it back to the Masha site post link and click update. And that's that done. And obviously you can send it to Twitter and all the other places, but I'm just gonna make this active and click update. And, and that's it, it's done. And I even took time to show you tokens for the money hook um, in the mash. So the, if we go back to the mash, <clears throat> let's see if it started to build, there'll be a date at the end. There you go, there's the next build. So it's built one already. So if we go into collected data and search for Apple, videos, which is there. And then we can pick the mash for the arcade mash. Click filter. You'll see it's picked up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten videos. And they're all new and they're all sitting there waiting for the system to gradually pick them up and uh, post them off. Now, one of the things that it also does, which was a difficult thing to do um, but we've been it's been in test now for a while and we're quite happy with it is it does actually exclude any videos and the, any text that's that comes across that isn't english so that avoids you having any uh, spanish speaking or any other different country speaking videos or um, different characters and things inside the um, inside the text or the title. Um, so we, we, are, we have made the decision that we are gonna only search for English speaking videos for you. And the way we've done that is we actually check each video with our systems to, to, to get back whether we think it's in English or uh, German, French, anything like that. Uh, and we only accept the ones that we've got confidence that are written in English, which is why all these look great. And then in time, they'll go over to the post and we'll search for Apple videos and we'll go to Arcade, click filter. Uh, it's not there just yet, but the system you know, wakes up every so often and it will start to it'll look at the schedule and it will drop one in and eventually it'll be in, in the actual website ready to go live. And you can see, if I go into the, one of the categories like uh, MacBook Pro, you can see, and I've put a nice uh, image of the MacBook Pro as a category. And here are the, the M1 Pro, MacBook Pro, choose wisely M1 Pro, MacBook Pro. You can see that it's, it's nicely selected, the right videos for me. Um, and, and these are all from the, I mean, he's, he's a good content uh, uh, creator. Watched him a few times. Um, these are all people that would show up if you went to YouTube and searched. And now they're in your site. And, these, and if someone comes in and clicks this video, they're gonna watch a lot of it, if not all of it, and, and they'll stay on your site. And you can see what's happening down here. AdSense has popped up and AdSense will be there as well look see that's a spot and then if we scroll down you can see there's another adsense there and then if we click the video th this is a masher site um, video view if any of you um, have, haven't seen them 
Um, I'm sure you all know about Masha sites, but this is uh, how we can fill them up with video content very easily, especially now we've got YouTube search. And there's the video. You can see it kind of like we don't need the image again, which is why I've turned it off. And then as we scroll down, we've got the content creator. And um, I didn't, uh, there's no money hooks on there because I've, I've only recently added them in. As you can see, if I go to a later one, See, they will change the background to look like an iMac as well, because this is the iMac section. And there, look, it's advertising a, an iMac there. And there's the citation, there's the video. Any questions? I don't see any questions. Let me, um, we'll take some questions at the end if we don't get any. <clears throat> okay. But let's let's talk a little bit about um, strategy on this. Uh, I'm yeah. going to take up the screen share real quick. Okay. So, guys, we we did the demo. Um, let's go back. So you're getting fresh, relevant videos automatically added to your sites and schedules. Here's some ideas. Here's some strategies. Is uh, one is go to your video views and pull in your category names and use those as your trending searches. Uh, that way you'll always get some fresh content based on the category name on any of your video view sites. On news boards, news blogs, any of your Google News sites, add a category for videos or add a category or mix your videos in with your categories uh, so that you are getting fresh YouTube videos that are going to help you drive traffic into your own websites. Um, the other idea that Wayne had is take the description off and put your own uh, uh, sales content in there. Um, your revenue generators, put them in as money hooks. Uh, great, great ideas. But you just got to remember, it takes a little bit of action to make a lot of, um, you set it, forget it, and then it's off, off to the races with this. Uh, idea. I'm going to use it to freshen up a lot of my site, my video view sites with very specific niche keywords. I'll go into surfer or keywords everywhere and I'll, I will find popular trending niches and I'll build some YouTube uh, trending searches off of it. So the, the video view sites or any video embed sites that you have that you've been relying on playlists, which have already exhausted the list, or you're relying on people to put content in their channels that you're tracking, uh, you don't have to do that anymore. We're gonna pull the freshest videos off of YouTube um, within minutes of you putting in the keyword search. So how do you get this software, Wayne? Uh, we, we've got a very special way to get this software. This is for all RSS Masher owners, however, you had, we're going to go through a phase-in process because we have to pay for all the, the browsers, the, the IP addresses and everything. Um, it's just not a, it, it does have a cost associated with us. So you can get it for free, but it's not going to be available until August unless you do this. So let's talk about the, the timeline. When can you get this added to your RSS master? Today. Uh, this is the exciting part. If you give us a G2 review, and there's a link in the Facebook comments, and I'll show you the link shortly. And if you're watching this uh, later on, we'll have the link uh, on the video review on the video uh, replay. Okay, get go to G go to the G2 review link. Leave us a good review on RSS Master. Copy the review you just made, and then go into um, the your support ticket system inside of RSS Masher. Put in there that you'd like the YouTube trending search added, put your link in there and, and done. And Wayne will get back to you probably within 24 to 48 hours, depending on what part of the week it is. And he will add it to you. 
won't cost you anything to use this really important new feature. Okay, if you don't wanna give us a review, that's no problem. If you have bought the API Club, come June 1st, all API Club members get this added into their account. If you wanna use it now, give us a G2 review. If you're an API Club, you'll get it added on June 1st. We're gonna give this to all members uh, on August 1st. So if you don't have the API Club, you don't wanna give us a G2 review. Now you can give us a G2 review no matter what, um, but if you, on August 1st, you will get this added, everybody will get it added to their RSS master account. Why are we doing it this way? We want to get some positive reviews on RSS master inside the G2 review system. Uh, we're gonna be doing some additional marketing inside G2, also in Facebook, and it will help us uh, make sales down the road, which if you're helping us there, we're gonna help you with this um, YouTube trending search, which this feature is costing us money, but we're going to we're going to put this in because we really feel like it's going to add value to any site that you have that you want to put a, a video embed on. Wayne, any anything else? No, that's it. Just okay. uh, click that link and leave the review, and I'll get get it switched on for you pretty pretty quickly. Yep. So there's the link vidpenguin.link slash g to review now. You got to capitalize G, you got to put it in exactly like that, and it will take you to the G2 review. Now, step two on this is once you create your review, you're going to see the finished product. Copy that URL, go into RSS Master, and just simply put a support ticket, please add YouTube trending search, and then put your, your link that you just created uh, your review with, okay? Don't put this link. <laughs> Put your actual review link inside of a support ticket, okay? And that's all there is to it. And you'll get you'll get a really cool new add-on for RSS Master. So do we have any specific questions? Yep. Now, the replay will be available as soon as we end the call. Facebook does their rendering, and we'll have the replay available. Um, I think that's all the questions we have right now. But this is a, if you got video view sites, this is a no brainer. You should be, um, I'm, as soon as the call's over, I'm gonna be updating all my video view sites and my news uh, board sites with some fresh, relevant, niche related content. So uh, Wayne, anything else to add? Any strategies that I didn't cover? Um, no, I don't think so. Okay. Me... Good. Guys, thank you very much. Uh, yep. It's vidpenguin.link slash GT review. Yeah, Peter says uh, these link posts of this type should drive a lot of traffic. Guys, this is, you got to think of it in two ways. Is one, the video embed's going to be on your site. But if you socially syndicate a really popular video that's sitting on your site and you syndicate it through uh, Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook groups, now we don't, you can go zap out to uh, Social Bee or Hootsuite or anything like that. Uh, we've talked about this in the past, is you want to socially syndicate these video view sites. Get them on the social sites because we've YouTube has already told you these are popular videos. The titles, the thumbnails, they all work. They make them really popular. So if you can get the YouTube and the, the, the thumbnail and the description into your groups, into your uh, social networks, people are going to be clicking. And if you syndicate it through RSS Masher, they're going to be coming back to your site, not YouTube. That's the important thing of why you're actually using RSS Mash. So we're really excited and we want you to take advantage of this. Uh, you know, if you don't want to do a G2 review, you can wait till August. And if you got API Club, you can get it in June. Um, you know, if it's June, July, August, anytime you want to give us a G2 review, we would appreciate it. Uh, but 
um, uh, we're, we're excited and, and please let us know, share with us any ideas that you, strategies that you have found really successful using this particular tab. So we will see you on another call and Wayne, any closing thoughts? Um, it'd be interesting to, when you built your site, um, send us the link and we'll have a look, yep. you know, we'll, you know, all the good ones will give you a shout out on, on the group. In fact, I'm, I'm going to take it one step further. Once you get your G2 review done and you get the YouTube search added, we will put your category sites in inside your you inside your your site. We will put them in as anchor text links in our PBN network. Wait, oh, I <laughs> how about how about that then? I oh, I'm, I'm I'm sweating now. <laughs> yeah. So we've got uh, a lot of pages being built and we got a lot of anchor text that we, we need to fill up. So uh, we'd like to help you out um, with some in with some direct uh, anchor text links back to your YouTube pages. So be sure when you put in your review um, and you start using it, put in a ticket that that you did a G2 review and you would like to do some anchor text. OK. I, I know this is work for both of us, Wayne and I, especially Wayne, but uh, we really want to reward you. We want to reward the people that take action. You know, guys, there's going to be 100, 200 people watch this video, and there's going to be about five people that take action. Hopefully, it's going to be a lot more. So we will see you on another video. Very excited about to share this with you today. And keep on mashing. Bye. Absolutely. Bye.